Hello everyone, I'm going to be making my very first tier list for all the Battle Ace uh, tier 1 units and it is going to be based on the overall power level of each of them. If anybody is not familiar, I was in the top 50 of the last beta, um, so I feel like I have a generally good idea of the individual strength levels of all the units and I, since I was playing from the very beginning of the beta I know the um, various patches that went through to each of the units as well so I'll, I might be going over some of the history of each of the units as well. Um, to start things off we'll go with the crab. The crab is probably going to be B. It's not too strong because it's a bit slow. It is very tanky. I believe it wins in every single 1v1 um, melee combat but it is just very slow. It can be used in the late game since they are uh, more tanky so they won't instantly die to AoE but in the very very early game if you're going up against something like a gunbot then you're going to be very very sad because the gunbots will just be able to kite the crabs uh, indefinitely and then you'll never be able to actually hit anything with these guys. So uh, a solid B I think. For recalls, it's definitely going to be an S for me. It is the strongest tier 1 ranged unit, I believe, and it provides base defense very quickly. Recall's cooldown in the beta was extremely, extremely short, so even if you were going for wasp run buys, you had to time everything so perfectly to try and match the cooldown of the recall. Um, you would never be able to do any damage if... Um, it wasn't like within the second of the recall being used. So definitely going to put that in S. Also in the late game fights, they were uh, tanky and they also were ranged. So they did a lot of damage um, overall. For blinks, I'm going to put them at A. They're one of the most fun units to use for sure. Um, and they do provide a lot of mobility with the blink. But... The problem that it suffers is that because it's more of the micro-intensive units, it's going to suffer a lot of the drawbacks that come with a more micro-intensive unit in that it requires more attention. So in the multi-prong type scenarios, you won't be able to effectively like blink the uh, weak units that are in front, back, and things like that. And they are just overall pretty good. They can snipe things off and then you can blink back or you can um, blink aggressively in order to try and pick off some units that are running away. And yeah, I think that's around a good place for it. For the gunbot, I'm going to place it roughly the same as the blink. It suffers the same problem with you requiring a lot of micro. So again, in the multi-prong scenarios, having to overclock and having to stutter step back and forward is going to require a lot of APM. And if you're trying to do that in a multi-prong situation, you're definitely not going to be able to get the most value out of these units as you would ideally like. I believe that the gunbot is like the highest DPS uh, ranged unit in um, the tier 1 slots, so it is extremely good. Might even think about putting it up in S, but um, I think the drawback of having to um, stutter step it constantly is uh, pretty uh, detrimental to the overall strength of it. For uh, an interaction between the recall and the gunbot, if anybody wasn't aware, the gunbot I believe has one more range than the recall. So something that you could do is you could overclock the gunbot and then you can constantly uh, poke at the recalls. And if you're doing your stutter step like perfectly, then the recalls just always lose. But I'm not Clem and a lot of people aren't Clem, so they're not going to have that interaction a lot of the time. <laughs> um, and yeah, I think that does it for the... Um, gun bot for the wasp I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this but I think the wasp is only around an A maybe uh, a B but probably towards the higher end of A for sure at one point in the beta they did extremely well versus workers they were uh, nerfed to deal less work deal less damage to workers in fact as well just because of the run by potential for them um, you can win games off of wasps for sure because if you just uh, swarm and are able to surround your enemy's uh, core units at the beginning of the game then you can just snowball from there and there's not much they can do against it but as you get higher and higher in the ranks your opponents will start moving their blinks, their gunbots, and their recalls into their workers and then you won't be able to get surrounds 
and then the wasps are going to be training very poorly. Uh, but because the wasp is so fast, it provides you with a lot of map vision. It also provides you with a lot of harass potential. But um, because they are so weak, the harass potential gets uh, lowered a lot because a lot of things can deal with it very easily. Uh, for example, a single mortar will shut down almost an infinite amount of wasps, especially if they place the, um, the mortar in a very nice position. Um, so I think it's only an A. I might put it above the blink, though, because it is uh, quite strong. Uh, for the scorpion, I'm going to put it probably above the wasp. I think the scorpion, um, it was probably S rank for sure at one point in the beta because it just beat everything straight up. Um in a fight because they buffed the health to just be a little bit out of line with all the other core units but the fighting potential of them is a nice combination of the wasp and the crab it has more health so they won't die as quickly to aoe as the wasp but you're still able to use them for things like run buys as well because they're quite fast and the fact that they don't have any active abilities is also very nice as well. So it makes it very multi-prong friendly. So you can just send a few over to an exposed base and get a few worker kills as well. And again, since they don't instantly die to AoE, um, you're able to possibly take out things if you split them up a little bit as well. And I believe that's all the ground-only units going into the anti-air units. And all the anti-air, I believe, cost um, energy as well. So that is immediately going to make them a little bit um, worse overall in terms of power level. But, I mean, they're still very strong. Uh, to get things out of the way, Hunter, D, it's just a bad unit. It doesn't scale very well. It is The power level of it compared to everything else is just bad. It's... Um, this, one of the starter units that I believe that the devs said that they just wanted you to uh, replace. But the crab doesn't suffer that problem as well, so I'm not entirely sure what their plans for like the, the ballista, the hunter, um, are going to be going forward. Um, for the hornet, uh, I want to put it as a B. It doesn't unfortunately do very well against a lot of the anti or the air units but it is very fast it provides you with a little bit of uh, range dps if you're going for wasp hornet and it can do very well in those scenarios again because they're very fast they can do um, run buys very effectively as well and they can uh, cycle between your different bases very easily as well for a defense but they are weaker than a lot of the other units so i don't feel like they're super strong uh going next to recall hunters i want to put this either c or d they're extremely strong in straight up fights they're very good against air in general but the problem that they suffer is that they are extremely extremely slow um i believe they're uh, slower than the recall as well or uh, they might actually be the same speed, but they feel just so slow compared to the other anti-aero options. They do have the benefit of obviously being able to recall between your different bases very quickly, but um, it just takes so long to cross the map with them, especially if you're trying to uh, finish a game and the opponent has some air units that you want to deal with. Uh, it's just not going to be a uh, very good time. You're not going to be able to really punish your opponent as nicely as you would like to. Uh, next, going into the beetle, I think it's also a C, maybe a B. In straight up fighting powder, power, it's pretty good. At one point in the beta, they were just like one of the best uh, core units in general. They did extremely good uh, anti-ground damage as well, but that was later nerfed. Um, and the anti-air potential, it's pretty okay, but uh, it suffers the problem of just not um, having too much utility. And yeah, I don't know, it's just kind of just kind of mid. For the missile bot, I will put it up in B. It had one of the highest anti-air um, units, or highest anti-air DPS in the game when it was overclocked, um, but one of the problems that it suffers is that it's a little bit bulky, so trying to fit a nice amount into the worker lines and things like that 
is kind of a pain in the butt, especially against air units. You really want them to be as small as possible so you can fit as many behind the worker line so you can shoot all the air units that are trying to harass your workers. Um, they're also a little bit slow when they're not overclocked. Um, and yeah, that's around it. It's a solid unit overall. Would definitely pick it up if I'm going for like an overclock themed deck or something like that, but um, yeah, definitely not a bad choice for your anti-air if you're going to be using it. Uh, for Blink Hunters, I'm going to be putting them in at S as well. They're probably the, in my opinion, they are the strongest anti-air option. They are um, extremely mobile because they have the Blink. They are very slim in their model size and they are able to fit a lot of them into your mineral line, your worker line, I should say. And um, because of their mobility, you can go very aggressive with them as well. You can use the blink in order to blink back against the air unit, so the air units kind of like bug out in terms of their AI. And yeah, I don't know. They're just, they're great. Probably the best anti-air in my opinion. And yeah, I think that goes over all the units. I think this is o the overall power level of everything. Do I want to adjust anything in terms of the different tiers? I think I want to put the Beetle above the Recall Hunter. Uh, the Hornet definitely ab probably above the Crab. Um, and yeah, probably the Missile Bot in front of the Crab as well. I think this is fine. And yeah, I think the Recall is just so, so strong. But yeah. I think those are my overall thoughts of the individual units. I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you have any uh, other opinions or if I said something incorrectly, please let me know in the comments. And yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful day.